Hey, everybody. So this is a super interesting research paper that I came across uh, because it mirrors conversations that I've had very recently, and it mirrors conversations that people have approached me with a lot over the years. Uh, and then so this particular research paper is called Quant Evolve Automating Quantitative Strategy Discovery Through Multi-Agent Evolutionary Framework. And it's put up by AI Tech Lab as well as Craft Technologies. Uh, and then it's an interesting research paper overall. Uh, essentially, they apply evolutionary algorithms and an evolutionary framework to, uh, in this instance, uh, like stock market predictions. Uh, and then like, uh, fi so very specifically in finance, and then they give background, their methodology. And then what they do is they create three different agents. So a strategy agent, a coding team, and then an ev uh, evaluation team. Uh, and then these essentially uh, are powered by LLMs, but then wrapped around uh, w with uh, evolutionary algorithms wrapped around the LLM model. And then so uh, you can see here, like they go through Python code, uh, tests, evaluates, and then goes through, that's where all their math comes in uh, for like the coding team there very specifically. And then here's all their algorithms uh, that they produce. Uh, and then uh, they utilize, uh, like the, the technique that they utilize very specifically is uh, feature cells. Uh, and then islands and migration is their, uh, uh, like, the, like the technique within. So within evolutionary algorithms, you have uh, like um, genetic algorithms uh, and then like uh, islands and migration. There's, there's um, a few different classes that fall under evolutionary algorithms, but evolutionary algorithms as a whole are uh, in the same class overall, right? They all do um, the same thing, which is um, optimization problems. <laughs> they solve optimization problems. And they're like, uh, to me, what I've, uh, like, it's been my opinion for a long time that I've voiced is that uh, evolutionary algorithms and like, I think like I like genetic algorithms for it very specifically are uh, what I like to the best, but that's what works best for me <laughs> overall, right? And then uh, the big thing that I like, so I'll, first of all, I'll finish with this research paper, right? So the research paper, and then they give their, their method, um, and then they give their code at the end, but they don't like, um, they just copy and paste their code into the notebook. So uh, I, I'll give you like uh, this collab version here. So like all the code, uh, I have it connected right now. You just plug in your, uh, if you want to put Gemini API key, but you could change it to your like um, ChatGPT or OpenAI or uh, anything else that you would want to use. I wouldn't recommend utilizing a uh, small model for this. Um, like, but so like uh, whatever model that you would want to use, and then it's going to use a lot of tokens, like a whole bunch of tokens uh, to run this and to, to even like just play around with it. But so um, here it is. I'll, I'll leave the, the code for you on that, right? But so then uh, to me, they, that's like covers the research paper itself overall, right? But I want to talk more broadly about this subject overall again because it's it's a subject that I've talked about recently and I, it's a subject because it comes up uh, repeatedly right like it's a, a subject that uh, a lot of people have an interest in because right? it's like why not right like it's it's like that um, one of those like mystical realms <laughs> kind of is is uh, the way that it's treated right and, and it's kind of true right like if you find it and you can create like a, a good quant algorithm like that beats out everyone there's a period of time where you can utilize that right and that's the the bottom line within that that i want to frame that with up front is that it's a um, period of time that you can utilize it with and then there's a few reasons for that uh, the first one is is that uh to me in my opinion like it's it's when it comes to finance it's like finance is uh we'll put it in the category of salt right? i put it in the same category as chess uh, because of the fact that uh, it's been like that's the very first place where algorithms went to, right? Like uh, there's algorithms from the 1930s. Uh, like uh, Monte Carlo was invented in like the 1940s uh, for the the Manhattan Project specifically, uh, and then uh, so and then like the um, so it's solved overall, right? Is the first argument. The second argument is is that like that tying into what I just mentioned that. So this, all of these uh, algorithms, they're all optimization algorithms and they solve optimization problems. At the end of the day, this is an optimization problem, right? Like when you're talking about uh, finance, when you're talking about uh, Bitcoin, uh, like whatever it is, right? Like it's, it's all an 
optimization problem uh, when you want, and this, but like if you want to do like Bitcoin mining, that's an optimization problem. Anything related to finance overall, like if you want to know what the stock price is of a stock tomorrow versus today, that's an optimization problem, right? Um, and then so uh, within that, like all algorithms within that are um, the same; <laughs> they fall into the same bucket. But kind of the the problem within that uh, that uh, like most people don't recognize up front is is that there's more things that can be solved via optimization algorithms and algorithms that are meant to solve optimization problems than just finance right uh the big ones would be uh, the big two would be finance would be number one right like like uh, so like finance casinos things like that they're all about it right and then like uh casinos like that's a, a good one because right? like the casinos like they're go they're investing like like uh Casinos invest into this particular research area, like open AI, like <laughs> flat out, like, like casinos are the open AI of this particular research area, right? Uh, so the, like they're, they're uh, out funding anything that you would want to do within this area. But then the biggest external player and, and bigger than finance, it actually doors finance is defense right like so like uh the uh, monte carlo algorithm again was used for the manhattan project uh bayesian algorithms were uh used to like uh during like nuclear weapons testing uh and then uh like what we're talking about here uh with um evolutionary algorithms were utilized for a period of time uh for like with nasa for uh space defense uh, and then so like it, it's uh the same type of problem. Essentially, you're dealing with like an uh, a, a, an optimization problem. <laughs> That's the best way to to, to to simplify it overall, right? Um, and then the same uh, it, it, like uh, what is the stock price of a stock tomorrow is the same optimization problem as like how do you optimize the physics and the physics transfer of like a, a weapon, right? <laughs> like or like any like like a uh, anything along those lines so there's uh, huge like uh, crossover and carry like too much uh, carryover and crossover uh, within those things right so like you have to me whenever you're competing with this you have uh, three people essentially that you're competing with like three categories that and, and they're all sharks right just massive categories uh, category number one uh, is your uh, investor with like you know just straight up like like uh, Goldman Sachs or, or companies like that that they're just out beat they're gonna beat you out on every single level on that end uh, number two is the casinos uh, and then number three is like governments right? and then like uh, flat out like it, for uh defense right and then it's it's like it's, it's um hard to like slice into like uh in between those and then if you do like the instant that it's it's found and noticed by one of those three uh players like they're going to to build uh and, and counter it and, and figure out some way against it right and that's like the um biggest and and best thing and, and way that I can frame this overall, right, is, is that like, like, to me, again, going back to that initial argument that finance falls under that same category of chess, where it's solved, right? Like, meaning that, uh, like the stock market, for example, like 80% uh, of the money in the stock market is all run by algorithms, probably more than that, <laughs> I think like 90% plus of uh, any money that's in the stock market is like 100% just algorithmically traded, right? Uh, and then so there becomes strategy within that of uh, running algorithms counter to other algorithms. And then that works for like short periods of time. That's like what like like, uh, like day traders and things like that. That's what they are doing at this point <laughs> overall, right? And then so you can get heavy and deep um, into the, the nuance and the um categories and the games and overall of these things and and uh within this but i mean just to me flat out like there's uh easier i i, I just like it's my personal opinion on it that there's easier ways to make money uh easier categories and then categories where you don't have like just like three massive like shark categories like that and it's just three of them right like uh that's like hard to i don't know <laughs> like i would just like rather not compete 
with anything around that up front, right? But then so, um, again, like a, a lot of people are into all of this though, right? And then so um, this is an algorithm that I talked about recently and I like um, the I, I proposed it to a client, but they decided to, to, that they didn't want to go with this particular framework. So that's why I'll, I'll talk about it here uh, in this particular video. But so this is uh, genetically like, like a genetic algorithms and it's for um, Ethereum arbitrage. Uh, and then essentially uh, going through and then being able to uh, like detect and, and optimize um, Ethereum trading, right? Um, and then this this is just a, a, a pure demo of it, right? So this is a toy model uh, with a toy market and a market simulator, but it's the same type of process, right? And then so it's just like showing like, so this is from uh, like, you know, like what's the price of the stock market tomorrow? This is Ethereum arbitrage, other areas where you would see uh, this type of uh, like um, algorithm and use and and um, talked about overall would be uh, like um, for uh, like the traveling salesman problem is is a big one like that's the the biggest one that most people are familiar with when it comes to these problems right? like that that traveling salesman problem and then so uh, just to me overall like again when it like just the, the the last point within this whenever i hear any of these problems this is the area that i personally jump towards and then so it's just interesting to see this research paper here because it's it's uh to me just like confirmation of that overall right they're they're quant evolve uh i i've built like i i've played around with this like uh previously like I, i've played around with it like uh, I have like a swarm evolve that's like literally this exact same type of concept, right? And then so again, like I've like I have no problems like playing around with these things, but to me, it's it's like uh, it's all for fun in that, right? Because it's um, again, like it's you're not going to compete against like anything that I don't know. That's just my opinion on it, and it's it could be wrong, right? But uh, it's like um, I think it's 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 like it's pirate. That's my opinion overall. If you try to get too deep into it uh, but it's cool overall um, and then so if you do want to get into it you do want to get deep into it you should really look into and study up on evolutionary algorithms so it's it's the the way to go within it uh, and then in my opinion the specific subclass that you want to look into that's not mentioned within this research paper uh, is genetic algorithms so evolutionary algorithms genetic algorithms uh, and then so uh, if you like this type of content please like and subscribe thank you much